Okay, so we have here arteries and veins of torso man. The heart would be here. So we have here our ascending aorta, our aortic arch, and then our descending thoracic aorta. Coming off of our aortic arch, we can see the brachiocephalic artery, the car carotid artery, and the subclavian artery. Now if we follow this brachiocephalic artery over, we can see the carotid artery going up here and the subclavian artery cutting its way over here. Going down to look at the arteries further down in the abdominal cavity, we have as the main red tube, our descending abdominal aorta. At the top, we see our celiac trunk, which is made up of our splenic, gastric, and hepatic arteries. We can also see the phrenic artery running on the underside of the diaphragm here. We have the superior mesenteric artery right here. We then have our gonadal <coughs> arteries. You can see a lot of the one on this side coming down. And then our inferior mesenteric artery. We follow it all the way down, we get to the common iliac arteries, the external iliac arteries, and the internal iliac arteries. Um, I don't know if I showed this, but we had the renal artery, which we can see going to where the kidney would be, and the suprarenal artery going to where the adrenal gland would be. We'll cut back now and look at veins, starting at the top again. We have the superior vena cava. It has branches coming from the two brachiocephalic veins. Those brachiocephalic veins branch off into the jugular veins and the subclavian veins. We go down, we have our inferior vena cava. We can again see the renal vein going to the kidney, the suprarenal vein going to the adrenal gland, and we can see the gonadal veins coming down to the gonads. We follow the inferior vena cava down, and much like the arteries, we have the common iliac veins, external iliac veins, and internal iliac veins going back and in. I'll just point out a couple of the features of the um, endocrine system. We can see the axillary lymph nodes, the green balls in the armpits. We can see the inguinal lymph nodes, the green balls on the hip. I have the wrong side of the head, but if I had the other head, we would see the cervical lymph nodes right here. While we're up in the head, we can see the pharyngeal tonsil, where my fingernail is, at the back portion of the nasal cavity. We can see the palatine tonsil, that little bumpy spot, sort of at the back of the throat behind the mouth. And the lingual tonsils are the bumps at the far posterior region of the tongue.